Hello, everyone. So today we're going to be looking at Ethernauts level 15, which is NotCoin. And in this level, we have NotCoin, which is an ERC-20 token, and we're holding all of the tokens. The catch is we can only transfer these tokens after a 10-year lockout period. Our goal is to figure out how to get them out to another address so we can transfer them freely, and we complete this level by getting our token balance down to zero. So we see this contract, NotCoin is ERC-20, implements the Open Zeppelin ERC-20 um, contract. And in the constructor, we can see that what it's doing, it's taking this player address and it's setting player equals underscore player. It's minting the initial supply to the player address. And then later on, we have this modifier called lock tokens, which basically says if message.sender is equal to the player address, it requires that the current block.timestamp is greater than time lock. And time lock is set during deployment to current block.timestamp plus 10 into 365 days, which is 10 years. And this modifier then gets applied over here to the transfer function, which is overridden from ERC20. So ERC20 has a transfer function that is being overridden over here, and the lock tokens modifier is there. So we cannot call the transfer function until 10 years after the contract has been deployed. But we need to figure out a way to transfer those tokens before 10 years, right, to solve this level, to make our token balance go down to zero. So I'm gonna start off by getting a new instance of this level, and we'll hit confirm, wait for this to go through. And once this transaction has gone through, uh, let's check a couple of things. So I'm gonna do const player equals await contract.player in my console. Uh, this gives us my address. This is the one I'm using to play Ethernaut right now. And let's check the balance of the player address. So we'll do web3.utils.from way because it's going to return us the big number. And we'll give it contract.balance of, which is the ERC20 function for the player address. And this gives us um, this 100,000 tokens that we initially got. Okay, there isn't a clear way to somehow just fool the transfer function because this is a pretty straightforward function and the modifier is pretty straightforward as well. Not a lot of trickery we can do over there. But let me show you something. What we're going to do, we're going to take this code and I'm going to put it into Remix. Uh, let's create a new file, call it notcoin.soul put it into Remix, and we'll just change this import to be a proper erc20.soul import from Open Zeppelin. So we go here, I'll take this URL instead and import that over here. And it's saying, okay, it wants a different Solidity version. It wants 0 0.8, 0 0.19. That's fine. We'll just make this 8.19. I just want to show you something over here right now. And we need to update our compiler version on Remix to also use 8.19 or something higher than that. But now let's compile this. And once it's compiled, what we can see is instead of, instead of like deploying it, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take our instance address, which is this one. And in the deployments tab, I am going to load up the existing NotCoin contract at this address. And let's look at the functions we have available to us over here. You can see it's the same uh, contract. If I check player, you know, it's my address and all of that stuff. So we know that the transfer function has been overridden and we cannot do anything over here. But you know what else is available in ERC-20? Transfer from. And transfer from allows a third party address to transfer funds out of your account to another account through approvals. That is typically known as the approve and transfer flow for ERC-20 tokens. But in this contract, there is a very glaring mistake that they applied this modifier to override the transfer function, but they actually did not apply it to the transfer from function. And to do a transfer from, you first need to have approval, even if it's us ourselves, but they did not apply that. And we can use this to basically get the tokens out. 
So what I'm going to do is let's take the player address. Let's get the exact balance in terms of way. So we get this exact balance. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to approve myself. So I'm going to put my own address in the spender field. And I'm going to copy the exact balance I have for the amount of value. And I'm going to do this approve call. So we will wait for this transaction to go through. And perfect. Once it has gone through, uh, you know, we can check. If I check the allowance of my own address, I have that allowance. Now I can use transfer from. So I just need somebody to send these tokens to. So let me just pick up a random ETH address from Etherscan. So I'm going to pick up this guy's address. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to transfer from. So I'll put that guy's address as the to field, my own address as the from field, and the entire balance in the value. And I'm going to transact this and confirm. And we wait for this to go through. And once it has gone through, if I check my balance again, my balance is now zero. So we can head on back to Ethernaut and I can click Submit Instance and confirm this transaction and we should pass this level now. Perfect. So we have completed this level and we'll see what's happening here is basically they implemented the ERC-20 standard, but they didn't really familiarize themselves with the different ways of transferring tokens from ERC-20, right? So they overrode the transfer function with the proper modifier, but they didn't realize that ERC-20 has another way of transferring tokens, which is transfer from. And because of that, I was able to withdraw tokens out before the 10 year time lock period. So generally the idea is if you're using code that is not your own, you should familiarize yourself with that code to get a good understanding of how everything works together. With that said, We've seen, we've successfully completed this level and I shall see you on the next one, preservation. Cheers.